All right, uh, let's try to prove that the gamma of one half is equal to square root of pi. All right, as we know that the gamma of x is defined as a uh, improper integral from zero to infinity, e to the negative t times t to the x minus one with respect to t. All right. So uh, I'm going to assume that uh, we already know how to compute uh, integral from zero to infinity e to the negative u squared with respect to u is equal to square root of pi over 2. All right, if you're interested, I'll put the uh, a link in the description for the proof of this integral. All right, so I'm going to start with the uh, substitution. So somehow we have to make this guy uh, look like this. So we need that t to be uh, u squared. All right, so I'm going to use this substitution here. I'm going to let t to be u squared, All right? Then, as usual, uh, we can start uh, taking a derivative so that uh, we can find the substitution here, All right? So here, uh, we take the derivative of t with respect to u. We get uh, 2u, and then multiply both sides by uh, du so that uh, we have an expression for dt. So dt can be written as 2u times du. And also we have to uh, work on the limits. So you have uh, uh, t goes from 0 to infinity. And as you can see that uh, u is going to go from uh, 0 to infinity as well, right? Because if t is 0, u is going to be 0. If uh, t is infinity, uh, u is going to be infinity, right? So uh, let's work on uh, gamma of 1 half. All right, so we have gamma of 1 half. By following the definition, uh, simply we put uh, 1 half where the x is. So we have uh, this integral here. All right, so you have an integral from 0 to infinity, uh, e to the negative t, uh, t to the, so 1 half minus 1, so it's a negative 1 half power with respect to t. Then we're going to rewrite this integral uh, using u we're going to get this, right? So we have uh, the limits of the same uh, going from 0 to infinity. Then you have e to the uh, negative u squared. So we have that. And if you put the u squared here, because uh, t is u squared, and then raise it to the negative 1 half, so 2 cancel out, so it's going to be u to the negative 1 power. And the dx, that uh, we found that to be 2u, uh, times du. So we put 2u times du. Right? So you can see that the u to the negative 1 and u cancel out, so they're going to be gone. And that this 2 is a constant. I'm going to place it outside the integral, uh, which gives us this. Right? So we're going to have 2 times integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative u squared with respect to u, which is exactly the integral here. So we can replace this by square root of pi over 2, we have this result, All right? So you, you're going to have 2 times square root of pi over 2, and then you can see that the 2 cancels out. You're going to get square root of pi. So therefore, uh, gamma of 1 half is equal to square root of pi, All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.